So you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or maybe Wilton Manors, Florida. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you around Wilton Manors, so that way you can see where the locals go, what they really love to do, and what it's like living here. I'm also gonna take you to three different homes and three different price points, so that way you can see what may fit with your budget. Let's get into it right now. This is it, so you have El Camus Garden Cafe right here. They they also have voodoo crepes back here. And next to it is La Mexicana. As you can see, it's, since it's called The Yard, it's a great outdoor space where you can really escape from the city, even Fort Lauderdale, since this isn't Wilton Manors. It's very close by, but this is it. Let's go check it out from over here. We do have Lola's Bazaar that is located within the warehouse, but it is only open month, um, Friday through Sunday from 10 to five. And then what's really neat uh, is the wall murals right here behind me. Um, it's just really nice to walk over, admire the artist's work. Just a great casual place to hang out with friends, family, get out of the house, enjoy some great food, maybe go shopping and even take some pictures. So we are in the first neighborhood here in Wilton Manors. If you'll notice all the wonderful traditional Florida single story homes in the area. This particular home right here behind me does have a second floor, but you can tell that they customized it. It must have been like an add on afterward, but for the most part, they are single story. Now the house that I'm taking you to, it is a three bedroom, two bath house, uh, 1600 square feet, and it was originally built in 1955, and they are asking for 835,000. It is this one. So you can see they do have the flat cement tile roofs. Um, it does have, a, it does appear to have the hurricane impact windows. It does also have a pool. I know they're currently doing some work in there right now, um, but you can notice how it's still single story. They do have a one car garage. And this is the neighborhood. If you'll notice, everyone kind of has different tiles, uh, roof. Some people still have shingles, so it's very eclectic in the uh, roof. But again, small, small, I would say small in size here, 1,600 square feet. And not only did they have a one car garage, but they have a one car garage. In fact, they actually have a carport over there and even they have a carport. So you're not gonna find large homes in this neighborhood. All right, I wanna know who you are. Do me a favor, comment down below the word Florida. So we are here in the heart of Wilton Manors. This is Wilton Drive. Now, most of the locals refer to Wilton Drive as just the drive. And that's really where, gonna, where you are going to find all the shops and the restaurants. This street is lined up with rainbow flags all the way. Even the meters are colored in rainbow. Very dog friendly, pet friendly, um, lots of restaurant shops. I mean, it goes on and on, so I can't walk the entire stretch. I'll have to drive over there. But I just wanted to point out to you again, a lot of the restaurants here, very colorful. Uh, what the Fuh is right there. And then Ethos Greek. Wilton Manors is also known as the island city. You do have to cross bridges to get in and out of Wilton Manors. And it is a smaller city. It technically has about 11,000, or now 12,000, I should say, uh, residents, according to US Census data. I'm right here in front of the police station as well as City Hall. But this is Wilton Drive where you will find a lot of the restaurants and shops and just can kind of go up and down. They even have bars and nightclubs. I 
I am here at one of the hottest spots here in Wilton Manors, right off of Wilton Drive. It's Rosie's Bar and Grill. Now, I want to point out Rosie's Bar and Grill is very casual, as well as the overall cuisine, not just here, but everywhere in Wilton Manors. Wilton Manors primarily has more of like a burger pub type of joints, uh, places to kind of relax, great, have a great beer. Um, they don't really have the upscale fine dining. It's just more low key, beachy type of feel. Um, you can get great burgers, great fries, great tacos, and that's just kind of the overall ambiance of the food scene here in Wilton Manors, or even maybe going out. Now, if you do want to go out and want to enjoy some nightlife, there's a great place called The Venue, but the best way to gauge it is just come at night. You'll see the whole city is alive at night, and you can really figure out where you want to go and hang out and the place to enjoy. So we are in the second neighborhood here in Wilton Manors. Now this part of the neighborhood is much more luscious in landscape, more tropical, as you can see a little bit more in the shade, but the homes themselves are still for the most part single story, still traditional Florida uh, homes. A lot of the homes here were built in the 50s but I have to say they really do maintain and take care of the homes in this area. Every single one is unique and I love the splash of color whether it's the front door, the garage door, it's a different color but the house I'm actually going to be taking you to, it's a waterfront property. Uh, this one is a three bedroom, two bath house. It is 1900 square feet, built in 1956. But I have to say they did completely renovate and remodel this entire home and they are asking for 1.4 million. So here it is. I have to say that is a really great, great price, especially since they have 141 feet on the water. So not only can you have one boat, you can have two, maybe even three. This is Richardson Park, one of the few parks here in Wilton Manors. It is actually a nature preserve as well. And this is protected by the Historical Society here in Wilton Manors. These homes are just absolutely cute, gorgeous. I mean, you don't really find this in Florida. They look like little two-story colonial mini versions. And the fact that they've actually been maintained and they're white and black is gorgeous. But look at this. It's so nice to just come here and take a walk. This is actually the manor house and carriage house right behind me. You can see they actually have the preserves back here and you feel like you're, you know, amongst wilderness when realistically you're just so close and within Wilton Manors. We are in the third neighborhood here in Wilton Manors. Now this area that I am taking you to, these are all waterfront properties. They are along the canals and for the most part they're all single story homes. Everyone has the uh, tile roofs, whether it's espiral or flat, but the home I'm going to be taking you to, it's a three bedroom, two bath house, about 2,000 square feet and they do, it was actually built in 1957 and they are currently asking 1.6 million. So this is the home. A lot of renovations were done to it and it does have a pool and it actually has a two car garage since most of the homes are smaller. As you saw previously, they had one car garage. That one happens to have two.
but you can see the landscape. Everything is nice, neat, well maintained, very well manicured. And if there is a home on this street or even in Wilton Manors, they're always updating, changing, renovating, and bringing it up to date. If you wanna watch more videos like this, click on the playlist, which I designed specifically for you. And if you don't wanna miss out on anything else, make sure to subscribe. See you later, alligator.